All right, so this is my review for um, Inheritance, starring Simon Pegg. And I don't know who the actress is, but I feel like I should know who she is because she was definitely great in this. Um, the dramatic effect, and not dramatic effect, but um, the dramaticness of her acting. So I want to point out, first off, really quick, that I'm trying something new with my mic. And I've done this a couple times today of uh, testing this out. So hopefully the audio is good. I just want to, you know, lessen the stuff on top of my, uh, my desk. Um, so hopefully the audio is good. I'm using a, a chest mic. Um, I forgot they're called Lemon Ear or something. Um, but anyways, back to the review of this movie. And it was a phenomenal movie. Um, Simon Pegg's acting for sure was way over i mean not way over the top but way better than normal and he usually does a good job of a, uh, of acting and i didn't really recognize him at first they definitely did a great job with his uh the makeup and he did a good job with american accent um i believe he has a a scottish or british accent a slight one um so I, I just i just didn't recognize him at first long with the prosthetics um but later on you you do recognize him he definitely did a creepy person in here uh definitely way way good at uh being with the creep factor in here and they did that also with a lot of the music but some parts in there they definitely did take away I mean, not take away, but they didn't fit in a little bit at the beginning. Um, and along with the female's actress, uh, the actress um, kind of dramatic of uh, effects with her lips and the noises she was making as she was going down the hall. Uh, I thought that was a little just not in place there. It didn't feel like it should be there. But later on, it definitely starts to smooth out and fit into the story. And... Um, the dad in here I was not expecting is the actor who plays, the voice actor who plays Joe on Family Guy. And uh, I thought for the small parts he did, he did a good job, but there wasn't a whole bunch of him in here. Um, the brother in here, I was actually surprised because the only time I seen him, the first time I seen him, he played the fish guy on the Amazon um, Prime original show, uh, Boys. He was the fish guy on there. That makes fun of Aquaman pretty much. Um, I thought he did a good job. I was actually surprised. Wasn't expecting to like his character. Well, not like his character, but like his acting. Um, definitely a lot of of drama to this. It was definitely a thriller. It kept me on my seats. It, you get the story of it unravels and whatnot. Now, what I didn't really understand and I didn't really believe was the fact that she looks like she's in her 20s and she plays um, a district attorney. Uh, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I don't believe they're usually in their 20s when they when they get to that part, uh, up, up, up that up high. But again, I don't know 100% about that stuff. Um, but she, she definitely does... <sighs> have a lot of feel to her acting that the woman that plays this and I don't know her name like I said but the part of the story that I don't understand because they didn't really specify on it is she was doing a court thing in the background and they did the small parts of that in there and they didn't really just talk about it. they tried connecting it at one point but it kind of felt like it was failed because it didn't really do much for to the story um but it was definitely a lot of of uh of you wondering what was going to happen next and then, and then they got to the whole plot twist and i was like just caught off guard it was awesome won't spe spe be specific of what that is and where that is but overall amazing story i was clapping at the end uh in my head um yeah, I mean, I, I just love the movie. Uh, hands down, if you have not seen this, you need to see this. I honestly was surprised, so intrigued within 20 minutes of the movie that I just wanted to watch more and more and more and to see where it was going. And it was so good. 
uh, I give it high praise. I don't know who directed it. They said at the end, but I, I don't recognize his name. He's not like a huge, huge actor, uh, director. Um, as far as I know, I'll have to look him up. Um, but yeah, I mean, five out of five stars. Um, a movie you must see and you must, uh, I highly recommend. Um, this is my review. Please like and subscribe. I will be having out something as soon as I can within the coming days. Uh, I don't do them on Tuesdays. So, um, there's a whole lot of going on with this riot and I won't get into it because it's not my channel about, but it's just pissing me off. I know it's pissing a lot of people off. It's just not right for what they're doing. I understand the protesting and stuff, but come on. Um, so, if you do go out and protest, do not riot. And uh, please wear your mask. Otherwise, I say don't do it. Um, but that's just my personal opinion. And I won't bother you any further with that. Um, I could just go on a whole rant about it. Um, but yeah, have a nice day. Stay safe. And um, be kind to others. Please. Viking out.